Speaking of other options, there are many options on this team for where they could go at quarterback. The New Orleans Saints are now without their future Hall of Famer, Drew Brees, who retired last season. Why are the Saints an underrated offense? Yeah, so they're, they're underrated for just the the note there that uh, don't bury the lead there, Ariel. Uh, Drew Brees is gone. And so I think people don't know what to expect from this offense. We have Taysom Hill and Jameis Winston, who are two of the most, I feel like, talked about quarterbacks um, on my Twitter timeline as far as who's going to be starting. And I think they both uh, merit value in, in drafting them, especially when you're talking about best ball leagues there. Both of these guys you can get with your last two round picks. That's that's how down on this offense that people are. But despite that, the last time we saw Jameis as a full-time starter, yes, he threw those 30 interceptions, but he also threw for 30 touchdowns. He's a he's a Twitter darling, a fantasy darling. People always want to bank on him. And I think he could, he could have some value, but also with Taysom Hill, you're looking at a guy that averaged over 20 fantasy points per game. We know how versatile he is at the quarterback position, being able to play tight end catching passes, being able to rush the ball. So these are two explosive guys that I think are going to be able to take the take the league by storm this year. We know Sean Payton has always been kind of an offensive guru to be able to utilize these guys. And when you're looking at the weapons there, of course, Alvin Kamara, he's going to be a first round pick. You're looking at Michael Thomas, who people are kind of down on him, not having any touchdowns last year in 2020. That regression is sure uh, to, to meet amends here in 2021. But also guys like Traquan Smith and Adam Troutman, who are going late in double digit rounds. I think those guys definitely offer some upside here. We have Emmanuel Sanders gone. We have Jared Cook gone. There's a lot of targets to be had in this offense. I think people are sleeping on what the New Orleans Saints offense can be, and they're really going to pay off dividends not only in best ball leagues, but in redraft leagues as we get into August as well. On the FanDuel Sportsbook, you can bet which quarterback is going to be the starter week one for the New Orleans Saints. Taysom Hill is at plus 220, Jameis Winston at minus 280.